Disembolic you should have battling out. aliens. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now she's <laughs> see what you did. <laughs> uh, I can't get over it. <laughs> I should never have pointed it out. Don't be I and mine. My old it's blue. <laughs> I like blue. That's a cool shirt, man. Thank you. Yeah. I like that too. <laughs> just hang out like this. Yeah. <laughs> talk about each other's clothes. What you guys do today? Yeah. Check, check, check. <laughs> okay, somebody. <laughs> you guys are amazed we actually get anything shot. <laughs> Dylan always goes to the camera and he's like, what is this? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how's Comic Con treating you so far? It's good. It's awesome. Yeah. Round four. It's crazy. Fourth time here? Yeah, it's fun. Does it get more intense each time with fans? No, I don't know. We, yeah, I guess technically, technically, yeah, like the the fan base gets stronger, and so we feel that intensity more. But we get more comfortable with it, I guess, each time. So it's, yeah, uh, yeah, like I'm totally cool with like coming here. I used to make me nervous and jittery and stuff, but now it's like home. So sort of. it's a weird home to have. It's interesting. Ah, uh, Comic Con. Lots of characters. <laughs> no, I, but it, I mean, it is. I think the you know the fan base has obviously grown, and uh, you know, being in different rooms now for our panels and getting in the, you know all 20 whatever it was yesterday I think it's that was like a big eye opening thing that was great um, it's insane uh, the fans are awesome uh, I remember the first year we were here we were begging people to come to our panel <laughs> and not tell us to go home uh, in the meanest way possible <laughs> and and now yeah and now they have to turn people away and it's, it's crazy and um, I mean it's nice to it is nice to come here and feel comfortable though I know the first season we were sitting in the corner rehearsing our answers uh, now we just come down and have fun and it's just good to see the fans and have a good time yeah that's great cool. cool. I like it as a, um, as a viewer, I find, especially this season's gotten really, really dark. Is there a point when you guys get scripts and you're like, just when I thought it couldn't get any darker, they've gone there? Yeah, every episode. Yeah. <laughs> every episode's like that. We always get the scripts, you know, and we kind of, like, we have our own experience, like, seeing the show, sort of, not seeing it, but reading it, I guess, and we we'll always get the script, and it's like reading a new episode, and yeah, you're right, it's always, I'm always blown away at how much we manage to cram into one episode, like, it's, yeah, I'm always like, whoa, whoa, what? And then we only shoot them in, like, seven days, it's fat, you know, it's, uh, it's why, uh, we, it's why it takes up our whole life, really. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing when you see our call sheets, because it's, uh, I feel like when you look at it and it's just it's always like this long with all the things you're supposed to do that day and then half of them get transferred over the next day and then Another somehow unit, by the last day work. it's like oh yeah no we actually got everything and I don't understand we just keep moving some of the stuff we end up getting it all and they cut it together and it's uh, that's I mean it's amazing what they can do and, um, and we've had a lot of fun doing it so it's, it's nice to keep coming back and uh, yeah, I think that the progression of the show is definitely you know going in a darker direction, and a lot more horror this year, obviously. So it's good though. I think it's uh, I think it's what fans are enjoying about the show, and, and hopefully they can keep watching. Tell us what's coming up for you guys. When are you losing your virginity? Yeah, uh, tell me about it. I don't know. It's time. Maybe three B. Because I know it doesn't have any three A. Spoiler alert. Uh, I don't know. And what's funny is like you know yeah we did that in like the third episode. It was like a thing where you know I was like hey uh, I picked up on something. Virgins are like, you know right. the ones being killed. I'm a virgin. And then that just kind of got lost. Like now we're at episode eight already. And it's just kind of like where did that? Why am I still alive? Because we know I haven't had sex. And I'm just still, my heart is still beating. I haven't been murdered at all. It's just really funny. I don't know, what's coming up with the last four episodes? Uh, five. Kind of crazy. Five, five. five more? Five, five. Where am I? <laughs> uh, I, I know Styles is, one thing I can remember is uh, uh, stuff happens with my papa. But, uh, but that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Tyler. Ah. Uh, uh, well, there's, there's the new love story, so uh, definitely going to see where that goes. Um, find that out uh, by the end of the season. Um, and uh, it's been a fun like new side of Derek to kind of play with. Um, and then uh, just got to deal with the alphas. You got to deal with the alphas and maybe some other unseen things. What is their things? I don't know. They're really grumpy. Dude. Really, really grumpy. You got a chip on the shoulder. And there's some family stuff too, right? 
Uh, there's a lot of family. Uh, episode 8 is a big flashback episode. Uh, you'll learn a lot about, that's actually probably one of the biggest things coming up with Derek. You learn a lot about totally. his history, okay. um, why he is the way he is. Uh, you learn about why different werewolves have different colored eyes, okay. um, which has always been a big question for a lot of people. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of information coming up in the next few episodes. You kind of start to see why Derek is on this path that he is on. So. We had a big death this week on the show. Yeah. How does that change? Things going forward, and are there more coming? Crazy, man. I think it. I think it for Derek. I think it ups the stakes. I think it's that first. I mean, I think Eric is. Eric is that is one thing. Uh, you know, being there for the aftermath and and knowing that you know one of his has died and it's kind of on his. It's kind of on him. It's his fault. Um, is one thing, but to see it happen right in front of him and to really feel like he's responsible because he, he's the one who physically killed him. Uh, I think it ups the stakes. I think it ups the stakes. <laughs> yeah, I guess when you actually kill someone, it makes things different. But um, I think it ups the stakes in his mind. I think it's a little bit more uh, a realization of what he's actually gotten himself into, and I think he's kind of become aware of how deep in he is in this mess, uh, and he's going to need help getting out of it. So. Things have been going so badly for Derek. Is there any? <laughs> Because he's having like the worst life ever. Did anyone at the panel yesterday uh, oh, think about you there? losing every fight? Have I ever yeah, won a so fight? Funny, have I ever won a fight? Oh my god. The only. <laughs> get a bowl <pole laughs> through I literally get my ass kicked every single week. That's what happened. I've asked, I've asked this guy right here, Jeff Davis, uh, if, I can, if I'm ever going to win a fight. And I, and I don't know. I don't know. I'd also like to know is Derek ever going to get like an apartment that is furnished? Like he's, he's just living in hey, a place. Down. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we haven't really, we haven't really shown, we haven't, yeah, right. well now it's, yeah, now we're screwed, now I don't know what we're going to do now, but, uh, we never really showed it, but that's actually a nice place. When they, when they made that set, I was like, I could honestly live in this, in this little loft. This is awesome. It's a lot nicer than we make it look on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Watching it back, I, I, it does look dark and creepy and like, yeah. cold, even a little. Like it feels uncomfortable. But there's like, there's like, but it's actually a really nice restoration place. hardware and stuff. It's nice. It's nicer than my house. A lot of yeah. It's, it's, it's a new deal for him. He's moving up. Well, he was. Yeah, he was. At least you have a bed. Yourself. I do have a bed. Like he has a bed. That's why. <laughs> I, that, I think that's why Derek's been so cranky. <laughs> <laughs> he has never got to sleep. Are you sleeping well, Derek? No. <laughs> Subway car. What's the rent in that place as well? Don't worry. These are all the behind the scenes Don't questions worry. we need to find. <laughs> what is Derek's rent? Oh. Just that's interesting. Right. We haven't had that. Uh, well, Isaac's paying out of this, so it's fair. He's still paying even when we kicked him out? Yeah. He's like, he broke you throw the glass at him and then he's like, out by tonight. Oh, and by the way, I'll still need half the rent check. <laughs> <laughs> Just drop it off on Friday. And utilities. And utilities. <laughs>